Congratulations on getting the macro packs, now your audio will be better in a single click. We will see how to install the macros in your Audacity. Once you get the EQs and macro pack, you will get a zip file. The zip file is named macros and eqs.zip. Unzip that file, and you will get the macros and eqs folder. Inside that folder, you will see two folders, macros and eqs. You do not have to do anything here, I am just showing what is inside the folders. The eqs folder is for a bit advanced users. If you want to use the professional eqs separately, you have to import them from these eqs folder. From the name, you will get an idea of what an eq does. We will not import the eqs now, we will only install the macros. The eqs are built in the macros. All the macros are inside the macros folder. The macros are named based on the work it does. However, we will not install the macros from here. You have to go back to Audacity to install the macros. So the first step is to unzip the file you downloaded, and then head back to Audacity. From Audacity, go to Tools, Macro Manager. You will install your macros from the Macro Manager. To install a macro, you have to import it. Click on the Import button. Once you click the Import button, you have to browse to the Macros folder. If you remember, after unzipping, I got the Macros and EQs folder. Inside it, you will see the Macros folder, and select the Macros folder. Once you select the Macros folder, the Macro TXT files can be seen. Select a file and click Open. You have to install the files one by one. Audacity does not support bulk installation of macros. I have selected the Clear Vocal Improve macro, and to install it, I will click Open. I already had the macro installed, so a pop-up asking if I want to replace. You will not see this confirmation message as you don't have the macro yet. For you, the installation is complete and you will see the macro name on the left. To install another macro, I have to import it. Click on the import and follow the same process. I will select S Reduction and Improve macro this time. Repeat this process to install all the macros you want. I would suggest installing all the macros even if you don't intend to use all of them. Besides improving your sound, you can analyze the macros to learn better audio editing. You can study which effects I have applied and how I have configured those. You can remove an installed macro easily. Select a macro and click on the Remove button. It will ask you to confirm the deletion, and if you click Yes, it will be deleted from Audacity. If you want it again, import it again. Once you successfully installed a macro, you can check it from the Tools menu. If you go to the Apply Macro menu, you will see a list of all the macros. My list is quite long as I build custom macros based on people's voice recordings. If you want a customized macro suited to your voice, you can purchase the service from the shop page. You already know how to use a macro. Select everything inside the track and go to the Apply Macro menu. Select the macro name and it will be applied on your recording. Your recording will be better in a click. If you encounter any issues installing it, please email me. My email is in the product description and YouTube description page.